Hey there, what's going on? So, I am a huge fan of Gears of War. I love this game, uh, and I've always wanted to do a let's play slash walkthrough of it, uh, but I never had the equipment to. Fast forward to now, I do. So welcome to the walkthrough. I guess, I guess it's going to be more of a walkthrough than a let's play. Um, I'm going to be playing on Insane, so we're going to start up a new single player campaign on Insane. Um, so I guess if you, if you, if you, if, I don't know who hasn't played this game. Well, there's probably a few of you that haven't played this game. Uh, and I'm actually playing the original game, not the, uh, not the, uh, remaster, uh, the ultimate edition. Uh, I'm playing just the straight up Xbox 361. I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X, uh, with the Xbox Series X enhancements, which are pretty, pretty freaking cool, actually. Like, uh, 60 FPS, um... Uh, and, uh, you know, higher resolution and all that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, as a huge fan of this game, I, I love any chance to play it again. Uh, I used to play it a bunch on Insane, uh, used to help people beat it on Insane, like randos on, online, so, you know, I'm pretty good at it, so let's just see, uh, how this, how this playthrough slash walkthrough goes. Uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Um, I'll be also, um... I'll probably keep quiet for cutscenes just because I know sometimes people like to watch those and it's kind of annoying to have somebody talk over them when they're happening, so I'll try my best to be quiet during those. But here we go. Gears of War. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? We can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. I always love that first cutscene. Kind of just sets the tone right up the bat where it's like, yeah, I don't really want to. Welcome back to the army, but like with a tinge of disdain at the same time. Oh, look, that's nice. That guy did not get out in time. All right, so uh, let's go on ahead, shall we? We've got two options. We can go back the way I came through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Okay, so Gears of War, if you don't know, if you're new here, Gears of War is a game that kind of lets you choose sometimes. Uh, you can tr go to training if you're new, but, you know, I'm playing on Insane, so I obviously know what I'm doing. So I think, you know, we're going to head to the prison blocks, because I'm ready to kick some ass. Let's take the prison blocks. I'm ready to kick some ass. Hell yeah. Let's do it. All right. The cool thing about Gears, especially when it came out, is that it was kind of like one of those genre-defining games. So like any kind of third-person shooter just kind of like, especially after, like third-person shooters after Gears of War started modeling themselves after Gears of War. Um, you had a lot of third-person shooters at the time just straight up redo their mechanics to include a cover system because this game popularized the duck and cover, you know? Come on, let's go. And, but none of them, I think, in my opinion, none of them really hit it as well as Gears did. And granted, Gears of War 1, being the first iteration of Gears, is probably the jankiest of them all. Very clunky. Like, if you're familiar with newer versions of Gears of War, you can't um, slide cancel like you're probably used to. Dom, I'm trying to explain something, if you would please hold on. Um... But yeah, you can't slide cancel, you can't really do any of the fancy wall bouncing tricks that you're probably used to doing in multiplayer. Um, but you know, you could, I mean, people did wall bounce in Gears 1 uh, multiplayer. Trust me, I was there. Um, they tried their best. Um, so yeah, uh, genre defining, great, you know, fun fact, even Uncharted. 
the first Uncharted game uh, was actually scrapped uh, their initial design like six months before release, I think it was. Uh, I'll put up the article. I'll put up the screenshot of the article so you can know what I'm talking about. But Uncharted 1, like, after Gears of War came out, they were like, shit, we need to do that. Um, so they changed the way that Uncharted played, added a cover system and changed the way that the whole uh, camera system worked. Like, they really redid it just because of this game. So, a little bit of game history right there. Let's go through this door. Oh no. Nice. Nice. What the hell's been going on in this prison? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Haha. <laughs> it's like I've played this game already. I know when I first played this game, I always thought these like focus point camera angles were always really cool. And this did look awesome back then. Like Unreal Engine 3 was I can, I can take let me take over there we go. Yes, I know how to God, I should really disable that. Uh, but yeah, I used to love, like, the, this, the one thing that really drew me to Gears when I first saw it was like, it's like, no, you can take cover? You know, after spending years playing other shooters, um, that just didn't let you do that. Like, mostly Halo, honestly, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but I was just so excited, I was like, wow, that's so realistic. You know, in context. Oh, in the context of, you know, how as realistic as Gears can be. This is fairly realistic. I'm pretty sure most soldiers don't go running around 360 no-scoping people in real life, so... Pretty sure they try to take hide, uh, take cover and hide behind walls as much as they can. So, anyway... Moving up ahead. This, uh, level is pretty easy... ...so far. Um, it is the first level, it's not really meant to challenge you that much, it's kind of just like, they throw a lot of cover down so that you can get acquainted with the abilities that you have, and if you did the training section, they'll kind of walk you through all the cover mechanics that you can engage in. I don't have nades? Wait a second. Did I miss something? Oh no. That's a little toxic. I think I missed something. Okay, so I'm a complete noob, I guess. I was supposed to pick up nades. And that would make killing this guy a little easier. Oh, there's still this guy, too. Dom, um, what are you doing? Oh, God, I'm getting murdered here. Hold on. Wait, did I just shoot through the wall? A little bit. Hold on, I'll get this guy. Got him? Okay, good. Dom got the other one. Sick. Okay, I think we're good. I will not be telling you where all the cog tags are, because I don't remember, and, uh... As you can see, because this is my original Xbox account from, you know, back in the day. Um, I have them all already, <laughs> so. And like I said, I don't remember. God, where are my knees? Are they over there? Where are they? Uh, I forgot to pick up grenades on the way in. I've messed up big time. It's going to be a little harder for me. Unless there are some here. Nope, just more ammo. All right. Get ready. Here they come. That guy's literally. Oh, God damn it, Tom. Yeah, I know how to play the game. It's okay. I'm kind of used to this. When you're playing insane, sometimes, uh, especially when you just have Dom with you, the AI, uh, he can die a lot. And sometimes you're like, no, nah, it's not worth risking your life to save him because he's not gonna die. He's not gonna bleed out. There are very few instances where the AI can actually die when downed. So that's, like, a good thing to know. Remember, always prioritize your life over the AI. You have no idea how many times I've gotten killed trying to save the AI and be a good friend. It's not a good idea, it's fine, they'll be fine. If you die, game over. You have to start over and it's really annoying. If they die, it, they'll, they'll be picked up, it's not a big deal. And when you, if you clear the room, they'll pick up themselves. I'm gonna flank left. I really wish I had some grenades right about now. These two would be so close. Blind fire is nice. Make sure you're not getting a... Uh... Oh no, they're rushing me. I'm not dying on the first level, I refuse. Although I might be put in danger. Can I help Dom out here? There's a whole other battle happening that we just can't see. It's kind of funny. Get in the ass. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
clear. I love that little uh, note, musical note that happens whenever you finish clearing areas, the area. It's like satisfying. I don't even know why I'm picking up ammo. We're gonna be done with this level, like right now. Yeah, here we go. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Wow, scary. Oh no. I think that was like the trailer for the game at E3. It was like it ended right there. Like, no, oh, no, they're dead. T. T and gears. Tears. Everyone's favorite character, Carmine. Welcome to Delta Squad. Where are we going? Embry Square. Colonel Hoffman's waiting for us. Hoffman. Hoffman. Ah, oh, shit. shit. This is gonna be awesome. I know too much of the dialogue in this game. Sorry. Hey! Are you THE Marcus Phoenix? The one who fought at Aspiel Fields? Yep. Wow. Cool! Not really. I like the camera work in these cutscenes. It's like super handheld. It almost feels like you're in that raven with them. Uh, I like the direct. Like one of the things that I prefer about the original over the Ultimate Edition is just like the cutscene direction. I think is just like there's something more grounded about it, more gritty. You, traitor like you, doesn't deserve to wear the uniform. Looks to me like you need all the help you can get. Owned. Step aside. Lieutenant, I've got good news. We have a plan to end this war. Once and for all. Yeah, right. Sensors are picking up enemy <laughs> movements, sir, close by. We love Dom. He can barely express emotion. It's awesome. 2006. Focus! Take cover! This cutscene was so cool when I was a kid. I was, well, I played this game when I was 14, but this cutscene was so badass. <laughs> to the right! We now have the light mass bomb! I'll take Shoot out it. all these bastards with one shot! Up high. But it can't work if we don't have the targeting data! That's why we need the resonator! Watch the side! You missed! It'll map their tunnel so that we can hit those sons of bitches where Come they on. live. Now I'm pissed. When I first saw this, oh, yeah. he says "now I'm pissed" in reaction to that, and I thought like, I was like, wait, is he like part locust? I thought it was some kind of weird plot like that. We lost contact with Alpha Squad. Last transmission was from every square. Down to four. I want you to get in there, find those men, and deploy that resonator. Will we have air support? What? Are you kidding? You are the support, son. Nemesis are keeping our birds out of the area. You'll have to move in on foot. We're screwed. Down to two. All clear. But the lieutenant here will be feeding you yes, intel. Sir. And the smart thing to do right now would be to leave. You! Get it done! That was satisfying. I expect you to give me 110%, Phoenix! I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing anything. I already know that chopper's gonna clear it. That one was on the house. Good luck, Delta. Thank you, chopper. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. Uh oh. We gotta get a move. Alpha's waiting. <laughs> 